Welcome to Radflix 1990. My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am, I am Joe Pinionated. What is a rad flick? A rad flick is a movie that has stood the test of time. Forget what those asshats, the critics, the award show said back in 1990. Doesn't matter anymore. A lot of those movies didn't stand the test of time. These movies are all certified rad by our panel of normal Canadians. In 1990, Best Actress went to Kathy Bates for the movie Misery. Best Actor went to Jeremy Irons for Reversal of Fortune. Never heard of it. Must be a good performance though because it beat out De Niro's performance in Awakening. Best Director went to Kevin Costner for Dances with Wolves, which was also Best Picture of 1990. Some famous people who passed away in 1990, Roald Dahl, Jim Henson, Ava Gardner, Sammy Davis Jr., Stevie Ray Vaughan, one of the greatest blues guitar players of all time in a helicopter accident. We're going to get right into it. Rad Flicks 1990 start off with horror gratis horror suspense movie of 1990 we have seven finalists the seven finalists are tremors starring fred ward and kevin bacon director ron underwood in a small desert town of perfection nevada strange underground creatures start attacking the town folk and it's up to a handyman and his friend to save the day elephant guns rad flick tremors next finalist is tales from the dark side starring debbie harry and christian slater director john harrison basically an anthology of horror stories told by a young boy to a witch who plans to cook him for dinner. Each story delves into the macabre and sinister. Next, horror suspense goes to Misery, written by Stephen King, directed by Rob Reiner, starring Kathy Bates and James Caan, psycho fan of an author. The fan wants the author to continue writing a book series and she holds them captive. Up next is Jacob's Ladder starring Elizabeth Pina and Tim Robbins. Director Adrian Lin. It's about this Vietnam War vet struggling with hallucinations, nightmares that kind of blur the lines between reality and delusion. Next finalist is Flatliners starring Julia Roberts and Kiefer Sutherland. Julia Roberts is really great in this movie and she's in a series of suspense movies over the coming five or so years directed by joel schumacher it's about a group of medical students that are conducting experiments including near-death experiences to explore the afterlife next up is nightbreed starring craig sheffer and david cronenberg directed by clive barker a troubled young man discovers a hidden underground city populated by these monsters known as nightbreed and the last finalist is it this might have been a tv movie i'm not 100 certain written but again by steven King, directed by Tommy Lee Wallace, starring Jonathan Brandis and Tim Curry, kids that were haunted when they were younger, and they all come back to their hometown later on in life. Clown named Pennywise. And the raddest horror suspense of 1990 goes to Misery, once again directed by Rob Reiner, starring James Caan and Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates got a lot of buzz, well-deserved buzz for this one. Certified rad flick. It's not the greatest year for horror suspense movies in general, but this is a classic suspense movie. Runner-up was Flatliners, and third place went to Tremors. Up Next, Raddest Comedy, 1990. 1990 as well. Before I get too far, I want to mention we're on season three of The Wonder Years. Early 90s are pretty amazing for Saturday Night Live. Best of Saturday Night Live uh, VHS. Patrick Swayze and Chris Farley do their dance-off. Chippendale dancers. Also in 1990, The Ultimate Challenge. is the year that Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan and Warrior battled in Toronto's Sky Dome. The Ultimate Challenge. Intercontinental champion versus the world champion hulk hogan versus ultimate warrior raddest comedy for 1990 nine finalists first finalist is problem child starring michael oliver and john ritter directed by dennis dugan pretty big movie for me when i was a kid total brat kid opportunity knocks starring dana carvey directed by donald petrie small time crook Going door to door, he's basically Dana Carvey, ends up living the life of the rich and famous, kind of walks into a situation. One of those movies, Malcolm Blower is number one. Next uh, finalist, Raddest Comedy 1990, goes to The Freshman, starring Marlon Brando and Matthew Broderick, directed by Andrew Bergman. This guy that starts dating this girl and, and her dad is Marlon Brando, playing basically the character of Don Corleone. Matthew Broderick knows about the movie, and everybody's just kind of like, yeah, but don't say anything. Because he's definitely a, a bad dude in this show in this show. Next up, directed by Jonathan Lynn, starring Robbie Coltrane 
and Eric Idle, Nuns on the Run. This movie also had a lot of buzz, really funny movie at the time. Two small time crooks, Brian and Charlie, dress up like nuns to escape from a mob boss and wants them dead. Next finalist, Raz Comedy 1990, goes to director John Waters, starring Amy Locane and Johnny Depp. The movie is Crybaby. This movie is set in the 50s. It's about this romance between Allison, who's this good girl, and Crybaby, a rebellious like, drape with a heart of gold. Their love defies social norms and invokes a clash between rival gangs. Next finalist from 1990, Dick Tracy, starring Everybody Under the Sun, uh, Al Pacino, Madonna, Warren Beatty, and directed by Warren Beatty, based on a classic comic strip. Next up, you know, borderline comedy here, Gremlins 2, The New Batch, directed by Joe Dante. Okay. He directed uh, Burbs earlier, starring Zach Galligan and Phoebe Cates. A little bit more along the lines of Army of Darkness, Evil Dead, that sort of thing. Next up, finalist goes to Home Alone, directed by Chris Columbus. Starring uh, Catherine O'Hara, Joe Pesci, Macaulay Culkin. We've mentioned this one quite a few times. Uh, Christmas Movie Marathon, John Hughes List. Today on the Joe Opinionated List Movie Edition, I'm counting down top 10 movies from legendary director and writer John Hughes. I've done Chris Columbus List. The McAllisters go on vacation. They leave Kevin home alone. Next up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, directed by Steve Barron, starring Judith Hogue, the Ninja Turtles. I think Corey Feldman's one of the Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo, right? Ninja Turtles is based on a comic book. There was a cartoon lining up down the street to watch the, the debut. I remember the the poster with the turtles peeking out of the sewer. Just that poster alone was just like, wow, this is going to be incredible. Ninja Turtles was the biggest thing in the world for probably that whole year. The whole year. And the winner for Raddest Comedy of 1990 goes to, goes to The Freshman, starring Marlon Brando and Matthew Broderick. What can I say? It's pretty... It's pretty hilarious. The Freshman, 1990. Runner-up goes to Crybaby. Freshman directed by Andrew Bergman. Next category, Action Sci-Fi Adventure. Finalist for Action Sci-Fi Adventure for 1990. First up, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sharon Stone. It's Total Recall. Directed by Paul Verhoeven. It's a movie about the future where memories can be implanted or erased. Douglas Quaid visits Recall, a company that offers virtual vacation memories. And what a trip. What a crazy movie. I especially remember him walking through that uh, like x-ray machine. Whoa. It worked really well at the time. Up next again, this one's already been mentioned. Tremors, starring Fred Ward and Kevin Bacon. There's six degrees for you. Finalist for Raddest Action Sci-Fi Adventure. 1990 hell yeah directed by Rennie Harlan next up is Die Hard 2 I believe it's called Die Harder I love Die Hard and I love Die Hard 2 and I love Die Hard 3 I, when I was a kid I liked this one more than Die Hard 1 I think the Die Hard 1 ages a little bit better one of my very favorite action sequels is Die Hard 2 next up directed by Warren Beatty starring Madonna and Warren Beatty Al Pacino it's Dick Tracy again next up again Flatliners from 1990 it's a finalist Action sci-fi adventure, Flatliners, directed by Joel Schumacher. Julia Roberts, again, incredible in this movie. Keither Sutherland, what a name, Donald. What were you thinking, Keither? Next up, action sci-fi adventure finalist, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, directed by Steve Barron. Rad, rad flick, show it to your kids. And the last finalist for 1990, Rad Flick's action adventure sci-fi is Hard to Kill, starring Steven Seagal and Kelly LeBrock, directed by Bruce M Malmuth. Mason Storm, a Los Angeles detective, is left for dead after witnessing a murder involving corrupt politicians. Years later, he awakens from his coma and embarks on a mission of vengeance against those who tried to kill him certified rad hard to kill and the winner for raddest action sci-fi adventure of 1990 goes to goes to total recall starring arnold schwarzenegger this is a huge deal total recall was a big deal rad flick these are the kind of movies we want to certify rad runner-up was a tie between the teenage mutant ninja turtles and tremors which i absolutely love tremors is one of those ones that come on tv all, all the time wouldn't miss it that one stayed on that was a great movie elephant gun and total recall and there's a lot of things I think of. Well, three in particular. Three things that I think of. Next category is Family Movie Night. Some family movies in the middle. Pretty awesome ones from the 90s. Family Movie Night finalists for 1990 are directed by Robert Zemeckis. Closing out the trilogy, Back to the Future Part 3, starring Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox. Doc gets sent back to 1885. Marty decides he wants to go back and help out Doc. I think it holds up. 
just as well as the other two. Big Back to the Future fan. Check out my channel. Of course, I've got stuff on here. I've got Robert Zemeckis episode. I'm getting ready to do top 10 movies from director Robert Zemeckis. I hope you check it out because I love Robert Zemeckis movies. All of them. The old guys talking to him in the bar making fun of his his moccasins back to the future three next finalist this one's directed by tim burton starring winona Ryder and johnny depp it's edward scissorhands check out my tim burton episode on this channel today i'm getting ready to do the top 10 all-time greatest movies by the director tim burton family movie night my daughter loves this movie they were big tim burton nuts around here edward nothing cooler edward scissorhands come on up next family movie night 1990 finalist goes to home alone finished very high on the christmas movie marathon we're going through the christmas movie marathon for 2023 christmas movie marathon one movie every single night and the day after american thanksgiving and that's what we call it up in canada this year on the 24th of november all the way to christmas eve written by john hughes directed by the great christopher columbus who also directed Harry Potter. Next finalist goes to the Rescuers Down Under. Voices are Bob Newhart, Eva Gabor. This is where Bernard and Miss Bianca venture to the Australian outback to rescue a young boy named Cody who's been kidnapped by a poacher. Next up, directed by Nicholas Rogue, it's The Witches, starring Maya Zetterling, Angelica Houston. This one's based on Roald Dahl's book. So Roald Dahl actually passed away in 1990. That's when The Witches came out. So I remember the book more than the movie, but I don't really honestly honestly remember the movie at all but glad that somebody put it in there don't remember this one so i'm not going to comment next up 1990 directed by ivan reitman starring penelope ann miller and arnold schwarzenegger s-t-h-w-a-r-z-e-n-e-g-g-e-r the movie is kindergarten cop based in astoria oregon love this town same town that goonies was filmed here's a little something for you if you're sitting in the classroom at the school from kindergarten cop from your window you can look up the hill and see the house's data's house and bran and uh mikey's house from the goonies you can see it from the window that's so badass that's so cool he plays an undercover cop and the day before the his partner's supposed to take over this kindergarten class to get inside she's sick and can't take the job so he has to take the job arnold schwarzenegger is this undercover cop to be a kindergarten teacher great family fun detective john kimball i'm a cop you idiot it's not a tumor next up again directed by warren Beatty, starring madonna and warren Beatty and al pacino in dick tracy finalist for family movie night 1990 and our last finalist for family movie night 1990 goes to the teenage mutant ninja turtles once again, directed by Steve Barron. And the winner goes to Home Alone, directed by Chris Columbus, starring Joe Pesci, Macaulay Culkin, Daniel Stern, Catherine O'Hara. So if it's not Christmas time, the runner-up is Edward Scissorhands, which is a November movie, directed by Tim Burton. The runner-up is Edward Scissorhands. Third place is the witches and the witches was directed by nicholas rogue next category raddest drama 1990 seven finalists for raddest drama 1990 first one being the hunt for red october directed by john mctierman starring alec baldwin and sean connery this movie did get mentioned earlier on in the series at approximately 10 years ago with das boot the boat it was the greatest submarine movie of all time and i did mention in that one that i believe this is the second greatest submarine movie of all time is The Hunt for Red October, starring Albert Finney and Gabriel Byrne from Joel and Ethan Cohen, Miller's Crossing. He'd already made Blood Simple and Raising Arizona at this time, or the Coens had already made that. This is a movie about Tom Regan, this character that's uh, an advisor to the mob and a lot of loyalty questions, things like that, set in like Prohibition era. Check out my Coen Brothers episode on this channel. Talk about this movie up next, directed by Martin Scorsese, starring Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Ray Liotta. It's Goodfellas. Lorraine Bracco. This is the true story of Henry Hill. The critics, they got it right. I mean, this is one of Martin Scorsese's best movies. I love Martin Scorsese. Check out my Scorsese list on this channel. Today, in Joe Pinated List, movie edition, top 10 best films directed by Martin Scorsese. Check out my Robert De Niro list on this channel. This time it's movie edition, Robert De Niro's top 10 acting performances. And be sure to check out my upcoming Joe Pesci list on this channel. Uh, Joe Pesci, I'm pretty sure won the Oscar for this movie for best supporting actor. He deserved it. One of the greatest gangster movies, if not the greatest gangster movie ever made. Next up, Radis Drama finalist goes to Misery, directed by Rob Reiner, starring James Caan and Kathy Bates. Edge of your seat, suspense, uh, written by Stephen King. Next 
finalist directed by Jerry Zucker starring Demi Moore, Whoopi Goldberg, Patrick Swayze. The movie is Ghost. Patrick Swayze is murdered by a mugger, seeks help of a psychic, Whoopi Goldberg, to help him communicate with his girlfriend, Demi Moore. It was a big deal for anybody that was older than me. Next finalist, directed by Gary Marshall, starring Richard Gere and Julia Roberts again, Pretty Woman. Basically that Richard Gere, you know, he needs a uh, prostitute. And who does he get? He gets julia roberts and they fall in love pretty woman raddest drama 1990 finalist and the last one directed by abel ferreira king of new york starring david caruso and christopher walken frank white gets out of jail and returns to the streets of new york and he wants to take things over again another amazing mobster movie king of new york and christopher walken and christopher walken when he wants to be badass he's as scary as they come and the winner for raddest drama of 1990 goes to probably not surprising it goes to goodfellas directed by martin scorsese starring all those people ray liotta robert de niro joe pesci martin scorsese runner-ups go to joel and ethan cohen's miller's crossing in second place in third place we got a tie between the hunt for red october and ghost ghost got a lot of votes as well goodfellas raddest drama 1990 okay so next up is most watch and for 1990 we've actually got a panel of five normal people we'll start it off with jess Edward Scissorhands, Goodfellas, his most watched is Home Alone, Bob, Total Recall, Home Alone, his most watched is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Caro's most watched, Goodfellas, and most watched overall is Pretty Woman, Ian's most watched, Goodfellas, The Hunt for Red October, his most watched for that year, 1990, is Total Recall, and my most watched for 1990 would be Die Hard 2, Back to the Future 3, and Home Alone. And the most watched movie of 1990 for a panel of normal people is Home Alone, runner-up to The Goodfellas. Now, to finalists for raddest movie of 1990. Seven finalists for raddest movie of 1990. The finalists are Edward Scissorhands, directed by Tim Burton, starring Johnny Depp, Winona Ryder, Anthony Michael Hall, Diane Weiss. Next finalist, Goodfellas, directed by Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta, Lorraine Bronco, Joe Pesci, story of Henry Hill. Next finalist, raddest movie of 1990, Home Alone, directed by Chris Columbus, starring Catherine O'Hare, Daniel Stern, Joe Pesci, Macaulay Culkin, John Candy, written by John Hughes, my hero. Raddest movie of 1990, finalist, Total Recall, director Paul Verhoeven, Rachel Tikakin, Michael Ironside, Sharon Stone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Total Recall. Next finalist, directed by Kevin Costner. The movie is Dances with Wolves, starring Rodney A. Grant, Graham Greene, Mary McDonald, and Kevin Costner. I remember wanting to be like a movie, a bit more of a movie connoisseur when I was a young kid. And this was one movie that I just couldn't make it through when I was a young kid. I remember trying to watch it multiple times and it putting me to sleep. And it was one of the first movies I can ever remember doing that. It's definitely a drama. 1990 for finalists, Tremor directed by Ron Underwood, starring Michael Gross, Finn Carter, Fred Ward, and Kevin Bacon. And the final finalist for Raddest Movie 1990, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, director Steve Barron, starring Brian Tochi, Josh Pays, Elias Coteas, and Judith Hogue. Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, Splinter, Shredder, Casey Jones, and April O'Neil. And the Foot Clan, freaking Ninja Turtles. And the winner of Raddest Movie of 1990, goes to you. Goodfellas. Goodfellas, you win. Raddest movie of 1990 the way it should have been back in the day. This movie has stood the test of time. This is one of the raddest movies ever made. Raddest flick of 1990. Runner-up goes to the Christmas classic Home Alone, directed by Chris Columbus. But Goodfellas, directed by Martin Scorsese, starring all those guys. This is one of the best movies ever made. So that's it. Remember to live and let live. Be normal. Feel free to gank my list. Let me know what I missed below in the comments. Check out my Patreon. Check out my discord check me out on all the social vote in the comments below check out my other episodes on this channel you can find me on youtube at my friend joe or hashtag joe opinionated 1990 excited for these years lots of great movies i'm sorry i'm a little low on facts and high, high, high on, opinions. on opinions respect to the raddest movie of 1990 goodfellas see you on the next one Submerged at sea Days and weeks at a time Ninety-six million pounds of steel go swimming by I 
see your eyes surveying in the mirror on the tide. Am I overstating this need to make it right? Cause I know the reason why you. 